Hey everybody and welcome to my second video on Sisters of Battle Tactics. Um, I'm still going to be, de be dealing with the core ideas that you need to understand about the Sisters of Battle army to win with them. And one of them is priests, which really shouldn't be a surprise for people. Uh, the Ministorm Priest is a semi-HQ choice. You get up to five of them per detachment. So if you're at 2,000 points, you can take up to 10 of them. They cost 25 points each. Uh, and they, But they're not an HQ choice. You get the, They're in the HQ section, but they're a formation. So they don't take up an HQ choice. You can still take two other HQs, even if you have five priests. And most people overlook them. In fact, uh, of the few other Sisters of Battle players that I found, they don't, they don't have priests. And the first question I ask all of them is, why? Um, people just default towards this acts of faith that the Sisters do, but it's the, it's the Ministorum priests, or in my case, priestesses, because I don't use uh, the crusty old men figures. I actually uh, converted some Necromunda figures, which I use instead. They are the core of the army. Uh, they're independent characters. They're your standard 3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-3-5 plus character, but it, that's not the point. Uh, they have an ability called War Hymns. And war hymns are the new thing in 6th edition that make the Sisters of Battle viable as an army. War hymns are basically mini acts of faith. Mini as in M-I-N-I. -I. Um, and what they are is they make a leadership test. It's just like a psychic power. They make a leadership test and they have three different abilities. Uh, one is the Emperor Protects. Uh, that allows the unit to re-roll all failed armor and invulnerable saves until the end of the phase. Think about it. You know, the big thing about the sisters is that 3 plus armor save. This guy, leadership roll, re-roll. All armor and invulnerable, and uh, from what I can, I've been using this is that that would then include their, oh, I forget the name of it, the the special ability that pretty much all sisters have, which gives them a six plus invulnerable save. So this is always useful. All sisters, I believe, have five to six plus invulnerable saves. This allows them to re-roll their three plus and their six plus save. Um, the next one is, let me think, oh, Righteousness of the Emperor. Righteousness of the Emperor uh, allows the unit to, oh, re-roll all failed wounds. Shred. Gives the unit shred. Reroll all failed wounds. And they don't, they don't, this is not hand to hand. This is not a melee ability. It's all failed wounds. Shooting, melee, whatever. You have to roll a wound, you get to reroll it. And here's the coolest thing about Acts of Faith that. So far, I haven't seen any. Every time I do this in the game, it just blows people's brains out of the back of their head. <clears throat> the war hymns are rolled each phase. Mm. Yes, that means in your shooting phase, you could roll Righteousness of the Emperor and re-roll all failed wounds. And in the assault phase, you could then say, well, now I'm doing Emperor Protects past that and you get to re-roll all failed saves or you could do another righteous the righteousness of the emperor if you want it's a it's it, it's basically a psychic ability uh, that you can use every phase which is unique in the game 
I believe, unless somebody else can point out somewhere else that that happens. Uh, and it's just a basic leadership test. There's no perils of the warp. There's no downside. If you fail, it just didn't happen. Uh, oh, the third one is uh, Emperor Strength. Which basically, I believe, uh, oh, it gives the it gives the priest smash ability for his next attack, which is fine because they usually you can give them inviscerators, which uh, doubles their strength, so that's going to make them um, strength six, and and now smash. Boom. Every every turn, and not even every turn, every phase. Uh, you you can you can flip that out. I I think for that's what I do. That that gives. I don't even know how to say it other than the adaptability that that gives your unit is amazing. So these are independent characters. They can join therefore any unit. So you take your standard battle sister unit, deck it deck it out full twenty sisters, one uh, priest or priestess. And boom, uh, re-roll all, I re-roll all my wounds, or I re-roll all my armor saves. Um, there's also one other thing, I almost forgot. There's zealots. Well, so what? Read it. Zealots say, as long as one model in the unit, i.e. the priest, you, the whole unit gets what is it? It gets um, it gets hatred and fearless. Hatred and fearless. So one priest, one little twenty-five point guy, independent character, doesn't take up a force organization chart. Attach them to virtually any unit in your game that you want, and remember they're battle buddies with Imperial Guard. So you can attach them to them. That makes your standard troop, a squad of 20 sisters, now has hatred, reroll all melee hits, um, fearless, so hello Space Marine, no no fear. They got it too. Uh, in addition, they have war hymns, Many psychic abilities with no downside casted by the phase, not by the turn, and doesn't have charge points, and no perils of the war for 25 points. And people say they suck. Blows my mind. Uh, I throw these guys in everything. Like I said, at 2,000 points, you get 10 of them. Ten of them for 250 points, and that's not including that you can out you can um you know deck them out with icons and all other weapons that you want. It's one more plasma, one more flamer, one more storm bolter, one more artifact, one more whatever you want to give to them, and they can attach and detach, and you move them around to where you want. That's what I do with them, and like I said in my other video, if you remember, I always have a fortress of redemption when I take sisters. Period. Uh, in fact, at 2,000 points, I have a Fortress of Redemption sitting over in this corner saying, yeah, come and try to take this, guys, followed by a Bastion sitting on this corner over here saying, yeah, now come and try to take this. Sisters are the Static Defense Army. That's two table corners right there. After that, you're going after them. Let them come after you. Um, I'm not going to ramble on too much now, but that's the priest's cornerstone of the sister army with war hymns, and I haven't even mentioned acts of faith yet, which I will next time. And I hope you enjoy this one as I now prove the sisters can pawn you. See you next time. <laughs>